Okay, um, so it's Wednesday, in July, I think 17th, something like that. Um, as you can see, the engine is exactly where it was. I haven't touched it since. Um, but I have something to confess. Um, so, on Saturday when I installed this with my friend, I was really hyped about getting it all done and, you know, everything like that. Beyond my better judgment, I noticed when we were installing the driver's side head that one of the rings on the head gasket had got a little gashed. I pushed through it and I was like, fuck, we just, I just want to get this done, blah, 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 you know, whatever, just get it done. By Sunday, I had been thinking about it all day Sunday, and I'm like, fuck, I want, the, I want, to, I want this build to be... Not necessarily perfect, but I want it to be as good as I could get it. Which means that if there's any kind of damage, on, especially on the head gasket itself, that's going to basically, it, would, it could ruin it. it could, I could go for a thousand miles and then this thing, the head gasket blows, or even less. And then I have to do I saw the entire thing all over again. And I don't want that. Um, so, it's Wednesday. And um, on Tuesday, or it was Monday, I think, oh, when I got this. It's another head gasket. Exact same, Felpro. Um, I know, two steps forward, one step back. But what I'm going to be doing, to admit to you guys, that I'm going to be ripping off the intake manifold, as well as the driver's side head. I know that it is all torqued down, and everything's good to go. I just, I couldn't, I can't live with myself if I leave it like that. Um, I will retorque everything. What I won't do, though, is I will not do the passenger side. The passenger side, I think, is completely fine. There's no problems, I believe. But the driver's side, I think, needs to get replaced. And I'll definitely show it to you guys, but I'm really upset with myself because it really does feel like two steps forward, one step back, and having to redo, redo the driver's side is is not going to be easy, nor is it going to be fun. And I'm going to try to do as much as I can alone. And I really hope I won't have to grab my friends or anything like that. And I'm really curious about how the gaskets are going to come off. Because usually gaskets seal when it's, the engine's hot. Well, this is not going to be hot at all. Or it hasn't been hot at all. So I'm curious if I can reuse them or not. And I'm talking about more of the intake manifold the gasket versus the head gasket. I'm going to toss the other one. But I'll definitely show you guys what, I, what I'm seeing. And, you know, I, 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 just, I just don't feel right spending all this time, spending all this energy on doing the head gasket for both sides and having one has a ring damage and that that right there I think is proof enough that I need to redo this and I'm gonna try to do it without having to take off the exhaust manifold and just maybe just lift it up enough like I, gosh not even like a, not even an eighth of an inch like a god it's not even an eighth of an inch it's maybe a sixteenth of an inch being able to lift that thing off replace it and then put it back down and retorque everything. Um, it seems like that is probably going to, this is definitely what I'm going to have to do. I'm just, I'm just more upset at myself that um, I didn't stop, stop myself when I had the chance. You know, I should have said, nope, halt, let's not go any further. This head dacet is gone. The replacement is only $15. Let's revisit this afterwards after I get a new one because it's not worth having to tear it all apart like I'm gonna have to and then go back luckily for me I my bare judgments talk, talk, talking to me right now while I have everything off still wires and radiator and all that jazz off and not when um, I'm driving down the road and the head gasket blows you know I, I really don't want that to happen so I'm gonna start the disassembly all right, working backwards to get this thing off. And hopefully I'll revisit you guys with the head gasket in hand. Um, the old one. And I mean, I might not get everything torqued down. And I also, I think I'll be really glad, please, with my progress if I can just get that head gasket out tonight. But, um, yeah, I'll... I'll, I'll um, yeah, that, that's that's my big thing. It's just getting the head gasket out tonight, and I can always do reinstallation later with the other one. 
but um, I think that you know you really kind of especially when you're being very meticulous about your builds you gotta be really um, mindful of <clears throat> all the small details because that little scratch on the ring on the inner ring this kind of combustion ring right here could be hours upon hours of more work you know you could be wondering why you have no compression in that cylinder you could be wondering why your engines run like shit you could be wondering why you have you know milky oil cap or oil, oil, uh, yeah you know oil, milky uh, oil cap it's all because of the head gasket and it's all because of that that one little scratch and it sucks because these things are so fucking so fucking uh like uh um sorry fragile and I guess it's also my fault because I have this thing mostly disconnected, the engine mostly disconnected, and I maybe I should have just taken it all out of the en uh, entire vehicle itself, T grabbed the engine hoist and pulled it out and just redid the head gasket outside the engine. I wouldn't have that problem. I think our problem is is that we have to kind of overextend ourselves from the edge of the vehicle, the uh, end of the exterior, and try to get the thing installed, and then jimmering, jimmying with the uh, exhaust manifold that was a pain in the ass. So I think that. You know, for me, it's not worth the time to leave it as it is and just rebuild it and come back to it and then later on realize, oh, fuck, now I have to redo this thing. That would suck because that, that would really be discouraging. Yeah. So I'm going to do this properly, do this right, and hopefully get back to you guys with a video of the old head gasket before I reinsert it. Okay, hopefully this will be fast. <laughs>